Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from our Camping and Survival series. Uh, we got another box in today. This is another one of the uh, SHTF uh, mystery boxes here from uh, Bud K. Uh, of course, don't know what this is. This is a heavier box though, so maybe we got some, uh, some pretty decent stuff. But let's go ahead and cut into it and find out what's inside. Okay, everybody, so here we go. Uh, we've got a handful of products here. Uh, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six of them on here, which uh, that's not bad. And from what I've seen, this actually looks like a pretty decent box. I mean, some things are sketchy, but some of the things look really nice. Uh, let's see, first thing is the bottle hanger slash fish mouth spreader, which I am going to assume is uh, what this thing is. Yeah, there you go, two in one canteen hanger and fish mouth spreader let's go ahead and tear into it now of course this is by trailblazer uh, and oh here we go okay so you can clip that onto your bottle there and then take and hang the other part of it up on a uh, maybe on a um, limb or something like that uh, if you have a uh, uh, a branch or something like that hanging over your fire. Of course, this may be a good way to uh, boil water or something like that. And uh, not, I'm gonna guess that you stick this into the fish's mouth and squeeze to open it up. And I'm guessing that is then gonna make it so that you can maybe get in there and pull the hook out. So uh, let's go ahead into the next one. The next one is gonna be this here, which of course, if you guys have already seen, you know that I like knives. And uh, this is a folding pocket knife with a bottle opener. Uh, it says one shot, one kill, assisted open pocket knife. There it is. Now it has just uh, basic plastic scales. They're kind of uh, textured. They have kind of um, uh, like a, they, it sort of looks like sand in the desert with the wind swept kind of back and forth lines and everything. Uh, but uh, you've got your bottle opener here on the back end. So of course, uh, you know, if you're out camping or something like that and need something to open up your beers or whatever, there you go. Uh, it does have a little, little bit of a uh, wedge right here on the back. Um, and the wedge, it's not a point, but even still with a very fine uh, edge like that could be used maybe for a, uh, a window breaker. Uh, it does have the regular belt clip there and uh, you have your little finger assist flips open. That is, uh, I'm gonna say that's about, about a two and a half inch, roughly two and a quarter maybe. Uh, and on the side here, it does say one shot, one kill. Uh, but uh, yeah, not bad. Let's, uh, let's take a little uh, cut test here. Yeah, it's, it's taking the hair right off my arm right there, so it has a nice edge to it. And uh, oh, just to mention, uh, we also forgot to say uh, the uh, little uh, bottle hanger and uh, fish mouth opener. Uh, they do say this goes for eight bucks. Um, I don't know about that. I, I would say maybe three, four maybe. Uh, and then the pocket knife here is uh, $10, which uh, I would probably put it more like a seven or eight, um, because of, mainly because of the scales. Uh, so let's go with the next one, assorted backcountry food. So I guess uh, what that was is they didn't know which kind they were going to give you. So they gave us, uh, you know, they gave us a, just a general idea. Now this is by backcountry. And of course, as you can see, it is the beef stew classic home style. It says uh, it is uh, 11 and a quarter ounces, 310 grams. Uh, and they say this is a single serving size is what they suggest. Now, of course, in a survival situation, you would want to know how many calories you have. This one has 320. Now, 160 of those are from fat. And that's, of course, going to be because there are 17 grams of fat. There are 30 grams of carbohydrates. Only three of those are from sugar, though. And then there are nine grams of protein. Uh, it does have some vitamin A, C, some calcium, and some iron. Uh, not a lot, but a reasonable amount. Vitamin A is 30% though from the daily, daily suggested value. So, and that one, let's see, they suggest eh, $5 for that. That's not bad, five bucks for a meal. 
Um, and uh, the fact that it's a portable meal at that, that's basically pretty standard, I think. Uh, now, let's see, we've got, and they call this a 40-pack fire starter, uh, and it goes for uh, $6. Again, this is from Trailblazer. Now, as you can see, this is a block, and you've got, like, the match striker head at the end, but this is basically compressed, like, shredded paper wood. Um, I'm sure it has some kind of uh, a long burn kind of uh, material kind of impregnated into it. That's kind of what holds it together. Sort of like the idea of having it um, maybe compressed with uh, wax or something like that in it to give it a long burn. Let's take a look and see what one of these looks like. I'm really, really curious. Uh, let's go ahead and break off one of these. It just kind of tears off and it, and it does shred. So this is definitely like shredded like paperboard type stuff. All right, so you've got your strikers again. Here's the end. Let's see what it does. Okay. Well, we should have done that the right way, which is striking down. Here we go. Wow. Well, there's a lot of material on that to burn up. Now, that, that created a reasonable amount of smoke when we did that. As you can see, this is just lit up pretty nice um, very nice wow that's that actually works really nice uh, now they are kind of bulky I will say that they are kind of thick and bulky uh, and uh, they are of course very soft yeah that's just gonna burn that's gonna burn for a long time so I think what we'll do we'll actually just let it go and see how long it works we'll uh, go ahead and set it off to the side here and uh, see how long this lasts they suggest this 40 pack is six dollars uh, so let's see we've got the next one and uh, hmm let's see it's gonna be looks like it's gonna be this and they call it a tactical waste bag so uh, maybe like uh, a waste bag so I'm thinking like a fanny pouch kind of thing and uh, let's see what we've got here okay so we've got uh, Oh, just a simple just a simple bag uh, actually not bad this one again uh, it, well this one's from let me see this is the m48 ops uh, brand now you've got the two hard straps on here which are definitely ready for molly uh, type of uh, type of gear and then you've got the actual stitched on sections on the back too. the the rings there that uh, you can of course mount through as well so uh, this can be done so it goes over just a belt buckle uh, or not a belt buckle but over a belt or you could uh, set this up to feed down through on a, uh, a pack or something like that then let's see we've got a handful of things you've got this little clip here a little bit stiff but uh, a nice little pouch right here it does have elastic sides to it uh, you have a small opening right here, which is good for uh, like pens, pencils, markers, something like that. Um, this one's probably good for something. Basically, this is this is a reasonable size for a cell phone. Um, even one of the slightly bigger ones, uh, it would definitely work well for that. Uh, now it does have an adjustable section here, so you can keep it tight. So if you have something thicker it will stand out a little bit and then if you have thin where you want it nice and tight you can pull that down and tighten it up you looks like we've got two pockets here two large pockets uh, one going this way and uh, yeah I mean look at that my whole hand fits inside of there that's that's pretty nice that puts it at about um, right about four inches across a little over uh, maybe four and a half and uh, then we're going to say oh, about six to seven inches uh, long there. So not bad at all. And then on the inside of this one, it does have a, uh, a webbed netting piece right here. Uh, so I don't know how well you guys can, uh, can see that on camera. But uh, so you can kind of separate stuff out. And then we've got the second pouch here. And the second section. Uh, which comes with a little clip here that you can of course hang keys or something like that from of course it is just as big as the one in the front uh, there is some padding at the back here 
um, and then you've got another like mini or smaller pocket similar to that one with the webbing but this is made with a, uh, a solid nylon uh, now this is pretty standard uh, it is a uh, kind of a canvas nylon type material and looks like our our piece is finally just just about burnt out um, that stayed lit for a long time yep there we go they suggest this goes for $15 and for Molly equipment, that's exactly what I would expect for something like that. Now the next one, we have a lock picking guide. And so you've got one of the uh, kind of the laminated fold, fold outs here. And uh, as you can see, there is a reasonable bit of uh, information kind of shows you what locks look like, what types of things you can use to pick different types of padlocks and things like that um, it shows you keys and tumblers and how they work uh, and then it shows you all the different I mean there's lots of different types of lock picking type stuff and they've got ones for padlocks ones for regular locks you've got the little gun jiggler things the jiggler keys uh, and everything like that so this is a uh, $8 value is what they suggest this as but the next one is uh, they call this um, an auto jiggler I would I would say more like just a jig jiggler keys or a jiggler set and as you can see it looks like a set of keys uh, it is just basically plain flat, thin pieces of flat metal uh, and each one of them has a different profile to it and of course these are inside of your lock picking set you'll use things like this where you can get in there you kind of give it a jiggle and a little bit of a twist or something like that uh, and it will uh, help to unlock uh, you know whatever it is you're trying to get into uh, depending depending on if this is the right style for what you're trying to do uh, so it does have some basic instructions here um, which basically just goes right along with what I said and they suggest that one for $20 all right so yeah everything looks pretty good um, for $20 this is well worth the price if you guys want to check this out this of course will be down there in the description below a link to the bud K site uh, of course we also have our social media down there and uh, don't forget on your way down or on your way back up to hit that thumbs up button and if you haven't done so already hit one of those subscribe buttons we'll have the ones down in the corners we have that red button down below and of course if you want to be notified of when we've got new videos coming out here on world of me you want to ring that bell all right everybody well i'd like to wish you all a good day and i will see you later bye